Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Center Rob Williams is a big reason the Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. And it's Smart in at the point guard. And for the Trailblazers, Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. And it's Thibel in at the small forward position. Here we go. And Doris, this Celtics team, very young. How are they doing it? In consecutive drafts, they drafted two talented and elite two-way players. That's Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. And so, yes, both guys are young, as is the entire core, but the fact is they've matured together, they've had deep playoff runs, and they Jaylen remain Brown. dangerous. Well, how about Jalen Brown showing us his touch down low, skilled at getting high percentage shots in the paint? Nurkic set the pick for Lillard. Fires from deep. Rebound, Boston. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes into points. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. Now, here's Nurkic after Jalen Brown's miss. Nurkic kicks to Lily. The pass to Simon. Tries again. And the layup good by Lillard. And there's such an edge to Lillard's game. Dave doesn't care where he is on the court. He's going to get buckets. Now here's Williams. Here's Brown. And the slam by Williams. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Greg. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Tatum deciding where to go with it. And the call will be against Anthony Simon. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. To the middle. Eight feet away. Horford, no luck. Portland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Lillard, the pass to Simons. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Grant against Horford. Brown outside. Just find the shoot. Does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. Lillard outside. Grant with a screen on Smart. Three-pointer Lillard. That one no good. And it's Boston the other way. And you look at the loyalty Lord has shown. It's stuck with the Blazers through thick and thin. It's why he is beloved in Portland. Now here's Tatum. At 22 points in the win against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. The other thing I thought was big, guys, was the incredible night he had on the glass. No one wanted any part of him down there. And Lillard kicks to Simons. Back to Lillard. There's the three. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And at some point, Greg, you wonder if Lillard is the greatest blazer of all time. Listen, he is in the conversation. You'd have to include Walden Drexler up there. But Lillard's resume in Portland has a strong argument. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the finals.
First free throw is good. Doris, what do you think about the possibility of the league adding an Offensive Player of the Year or quote-unquote best season award on top of the MVP? I hate it, Kevin. And the reason I hate it is look at how competitive last season's MVP race was in the NBA. Three guys equally capable of winning the award, Embiid, Giannis, and Nikola Jokic, all were worthy MVP candidates. I think to dilute a race of that caliber would be a mistake. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. GA, think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. This is his first free throw of the game. The yeah, it's good two. to see him with this free throw percentage up over 80. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Grant. You know, Greg Anthony, people talk about Jeremy Grant as a score. But what about his passing? Significantly better moving the ball along. He, he's leaving no stone unturned as he looks to maximize his abilities. And the Celtics making a change here. Hauser's checked in. And Grant drops them both. And you look at the young talent the Blazers have. A nice young core group that can grow. Simon's the big name from that crew. Now here's Williams. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Rodden the pass to Hauser. Outside Williams. Two minutes remaining in the first. And here's Brockton from the arc. The rebound by Grant. And Simons and Little Greg, a pair of names Portland fans are definitely excited about. And, and they've shown that they can be valuable players. Portland got a lot younger with the trades they made last year. Now they have to have that youth develop. Now Brogdon after the miss three from Damian Lillard. White with it. Now defended by Grant outside to Brogdon. Spin off the left rim and in. Malcolm Brogdon, as efficient a player as there is in the league, doesn't matter what range he's taking that jump shot. He's confident and he's got a reliable stroke. Now, here's Lillard. Five points in the game. Fires the three. Portland again, missing. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three pointers, but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. The offensive rebound. Here's Hauser. A three-pointer, no good. And so Grant will bring it up for Portland. They trail by one. Portland moving the ball around. Pass to Lillard. Here's the three. And it's Lillard again missing. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Hauser the pass to White. They swipe it. Picked him clean. Here's Hauser. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Logged in against Grant. Outside White. From deep three-point range. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And a closely contested grit and crime first quarter comes to a close. Celtics lead by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And your trailblazers used DMC. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. They've got Cameron Reddish. 
And Bernie Simons out there with Sharp. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Watford into the power four. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And the foul on Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. That's his first, first foul. Personal foul. First team foul. Now Reddish. There's a screen. Takes a three. And it's Sharp missing. The Celtics with the lead. Smart passes to Williams. Down low. Down kicks to Smart. Pass to Tatum. Let's it go from deep. And no good. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. That is the pass to Sharp. Nurkic a screen on Brown. Now, here's Sharp. He's covered by Brown. Just five on the clock. Back to Reddish. Fires for three. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now, here's Tatum. Offensively, he's been a one-man wrecking crew. His scoring average is over 30 points a game. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now, here's Reddish. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. There's the drive. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Checked in for the Trailblazers. And checking out some numbers for Marcus Smart. How his last 10 games have gone. Averaging about 11 points, three assists, and two rebounds. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night it's your night, another night perhaps it's somebody else's. Trailblazers trail by three. Passes it to Nurkic. Plays it up, and despite of the excellent defense of that. In the paint, Nurkic's height makes him such a challenge to defend. It's really easy for him to get that shot off in rhythm. Now here's Williams. And here's Tatum for three. No good on that one. Portland's gone 0-2 from here in the second. Brain, you take a look at Nurkic. He is at his best going against big name center. Nurkic is the kind of player who rises to a challenge, can be a bit inconsistent in what he gives you, but he loves the challenge of going up against the best. Now here's Smart following the missed shot by Nurkic. Eight away. Horford, no luck. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Bible, the pass to Sharp. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. That's on Jalen Brown. Second team and foul. all the talent in the world. That's the line from the seventh overall here. pick in a fairly deep draft. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. When you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And Greg up and down this Celtics roster. 
So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has Defensive Player of the Year. Marcus He's a terrific Smart. player. No Good question three. about it. David, thank you. Well, Marcus Smart has come so far as a three-point shooter. This guy very capable from distance. Simons surveying the D. Two minutes remaining in the first. They get the rebound. Two minutes. Here's Nurkic. Over Horford. Nurkic can't hit. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Brown the pass to Smart from the arc. The Trailblazers pull it in. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Celtics ball. Here now, the upcoming schedule for the Portland Trailblazers. On Sunday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Wednesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah up against the Jams. And for that Thunder game, it's going to be a, a bit of a measuring stick for them. See just how they stack up with a team that most would feel has the edge. Now Brown, after Marcus Smart missing on that last three-pointer. He hits Brown with the drive. He gets it in there. Boy, how impressive is the quickness Jalen Brown possesses. This guy sprints hard toward the cup on every drive. Now a timeout called by Portland. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. Hey, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for Jeremy Grant. play here in the second quarter. Lillard from outside. Miss number six for him. He's made two of his eight attempts. Time now for an injury report. For an update on Cam Reddish's injury, let's go to David Aldrich. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer of the Trailblazers was able to update me on the situation. He told me that he bruised his rib. He's got a pretty good mark there and he is really feeling it. If he were to miss time right now, it would really hurt this team, especially during the latter stages of the season. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Hopefully everything works out for him. Boston's gone 1-6 from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Outside, Williams. Pocket six. White, wide open. He fights. Oh, good with the triple. 
Simmons on the wing. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Celtics up by two. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And we welcome you to halftime as the Boston Celtics are getting everything they can handle so far. Being a trunk slammer ain't easy. Hostile environment, and these guys are unfazed. Yeah, it's tough to win on the road in the NBA. Loving the confidence. And now we can turn our attention forward. Let's take a look at what lies ahead on the schedule. And for their matchup with the Clippers, everyone has that one circled. Obviously, they love to come out on top but they know they have serious mismatch challenges. They'll need to execute to near perfection and adjust on the fly to give themselves a chance. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Portland trailing here. On the court for the Celtics, the post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's Smart in at the one. Now, here's Simon. That puts them in the lead. Simons has got the first bucket of the third here for Portland. Guys, what a back and forth game this has been. And that's already resulted in seven lead changes. Smart kicks to Brown. And it's good for two. Brown's got six points. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Now, here's Grant. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. And it's Simons missing. Celtic shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Greg, when you watch and Bernie Simons play, you can see the burst he has on the ball. And that goes for him attacking the rim and rising up for a shot. Impossible to stay in front of him with that quick first step. And with his skill and athleticism, boy, the sky's the limit. Here is Lillard after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Grant dishes to Lillard. And Damian Lillard with the chain. Man, nice pass by Grant. And, and this is what happens when you become a great scorer. You draw defenders, which often leaves someone open. Now here's Williams. Outside Tatum. From downtown. And it's Portland with the rebound. Norkic has got six rebounds here tonight. Five bowl, the pass to Grant. And the dunk by Grant. Jeremy Grant playing to his strength uses that athleticism to finish that one with authority. And there's the pass to Brock. And it's Portland with the rebound. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Herkic finds Simon. To the left side wing. Grant against Horford. Six to shoot. Portland needs to get off the shot. Three-pointer, Lillard. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Lillard's got the lead up to three now for the Trailblazers. Smart with the ball. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. The Trailblazers have gotten four of their first five second-hand shots to fall. 80% since the break. Smart against Lillard. Pass to Simon. A three-pointer off the mark. Celtics trail by three. Round down low. Covered by Simon. Smart wide open. He fires. Boston again missing. You know what?
what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. To the paint. And finish off by Nurkic. Quick thinking. Wins Dane. Assists. Finds the open man, and the ball instantly there for the finish. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. For your blazer dancer. comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Reddish in for Anferni Simons. Outside, White. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Brogdon. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Brogdon's got his second basket of the night. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Pass to Little. This one for three. Rebound by Williams. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Kicks to Muscala. Passes it to Hauser. Now Williams, he's covered by Grant. Shot clock at five. Williams passes to Brogdon. Let's a floater go. Reddish grabs the rebound. Trailblazers leading by three. For Malcolm Brogdon, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And well, Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college. His dad and brother, lawyers. His mom involved in higher education. Brogdon may be the smartest guy in the NBA. Lillard with the bucket. Well, the defense has been lackluster out of the locker room, and that is why they are finding themselves in a tough spot. Brogdon the pass to Williams. There's 53 seconds left here in the third quarter. And it's White missing. And Portland with the ball. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Reddish kicks to Lillard. From past the arc. A shot missing. And the Celtics going the other way now. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Moscow finds Brogdon. Over in the corner, White. Williams has a screen for White. Here's Hauser. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Man, this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. For three, Brockton. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers. Quickly a quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. We come back right after this. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. 
And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. This is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Reddish out there with Little. And it's Nurkic in at the five down low. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Now, smart. After Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Dish, dishes to Nurkic, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Robert Williams. First, first and that's his first foul. First the Trailblazers team. making a switch here. Watford's now checked in. For your Trailblazers, Trenton Watford. Here's Simons. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And here's Smart outside Horford. On the pass to Tatum from deep. Good on the triple. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Celtics. Well, consistent catch and shoot opportunities will be available for Jason Tatum, and he makes good on it. Here's Simon. A shot, no good. Good work defensively by Horford. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Inside. From 10 feet out, and the shot is long. And Simons has got the ball here for the Trailblazers. They lead by four. Little gets the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here's Smart. Outside Tatum. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. With the fadeaway. Horford, no luck. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. To the left wing, here's Watford. Offensive rebound. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Here's Tatum. In the corner, smart with it. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. No good. And the Trailblazers going the other way. I'll say this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Out left of the wing. Smart against Lillard. Nurkic is screen on smart. Lillard misses. Celtics trail by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Now, here's Simon. He takes it in. Some solid defense from Brown. Boston's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And it's Williams finishing it off. How about the confidence? It's just growing in this young man. Williams has that attitude of a go-to guy in these big moments, even though he's still picking up the nuance of the game. Now a timeout called by Portland. Matisse Thibel comes in for Nasir Little. And a change for the Celtics. Brogdon, he's checked in for Smart. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, during that last break, I listened to Chauncey Billups talk to his team. 
He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. Thank you, David. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. It's a one-point game. Proof positive that Lillard is worthy. That's talent you can build a franchise around. Time out call the Celtics. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. Boy, much needed timeout. This guy scoring at will, and they've had no answer. A screen on Simon. Brown. Williams kicks to Horford. Celtics passing it around. Brown outside. Portland grabs the miss. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. And he's Two making it work with shot day. selection like that. Lillard misses. Celtics trail by three. It's a floater. The shot by Brogdon, no good. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Portland Trailblazer. Giving up just eight points in the fourth quarter. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. That's good from Brogdon. On the assist by Tatum. Six points for Malcolm Brogdon. Poise and confidence. Malcolm Brogdon with the big bucket. And Lillard gets the driver. Over Tatum. Portland no good that time either. Boston's got a disappointing two or six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Over in the corner, Brown. Kept alive. Horford's shot is good. And if you want to know why they turned to Al Horford, it's because he delivers time and again. Lillard scanning the floor. And the shot is good. And the Trailblazers lead by one. This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And that's the kind of effort that it takes down the stretch, going all out for that clutch bucket. Now here's Tatum. Shoots the three. It's money from Dean Tatum. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Alert against Brogdon. Tries from 10. And that one hits back iron. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. He kicks it to Horford. Here's Tatum. Williams trying to break free. Got a hand on it. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. I'll tell you, they'd better come up with some points. Oh! Oh! Is that you trying to get in the dunk contest? Looked like it on that incredible finish. The time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over.
with 14 seconds left in the fourth. Now here's Tatum. Over Thibel. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And regulation now complete. He will go to overtime from Portland. We're back in a moment. This as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. Brogdon with it. Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. And it's Thibel in at the three spot. Well, Jason Tatum in a big moment. He is unafraid. Lillard, the basket grant. And here is Simon. Six to shoot. And good. He nails it. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. And I call the Celtics. Checked in. Celtic substitution. Marcus Smart. Portland on defense. Side Tatum. No good on that one. Great D that time from Nurkic. To the inside. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. They continue to battle out there. So close to taking the lead. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Brown finds Tatum. Three-pointers off the mark. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Down low. Thibel, the pass to Simon. Back to Thibel. Portland moving the ball. Here's Miller. Softly drops in the floor. And it's a four-point Portland lead. A guy who spaces the floor, but also willing to attack the rim. Miller has confounded the defense all night. Here's Tatum. Connects on the nine-footer. Tatum. Tatum's got four this quarter. Man, you can get chills watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. It's going by Brown. Just about two minutes in now to this overtime period. What a game. Oh, Jalen Brown with the big shot proving hard work pays off. Smart. Lillard outside. And it's Thibel in the corner. Five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Lillard misses. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And so Chauncey Billups decides to call timeout. Attention, Blazer fans. Give a big round of applause for your Blazer Blazer dance team.
break. They're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Smart against Lillard. Nurkic is screen on smart. Lillard from outside. Full time! Such a lethal outside sniper. Lillard is fast for it, looking to pull the trigger from deep. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by three. Just two seconds left in the first overtime. What's your take, guys? And they need a three to tie. But, but look, they've got enough time here to find a good look. They can run a play off the inbounds, make sure they get it in the hands of their best shooter. Three from Tatum. Misses the shot. Ends with a big win by Portland in a tight game. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came out on the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. Then we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Dane, how much do you challenge yourself to provide that scoring to get this team over the hump? I mean, coming into the game, I know I'm going to get a lot of attention. Uh, team's trying to stop me, so I let it come to me. And, uh, you know, nobody has ever won a game in the first half. Um, it, it gets done in the second half, so that's when I come on and try to get it done. That is when the stars shine the brightest, and you were shining out there tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard.